In 1942, Italian theorist Cesare Zavattini introduced the Italian neorealism approach. He suggested a new kind of Italian cinema. He wants to abolish existing film structure of cinematography, which is the contrived and planned plots found in Hollywood films. Zavattini suggested that films must use real people and locations to establish direct contact with contemporary social realism. By contemporary social realism, it means that the film itself must have unconditional emphasis on ordinariness of today and present. Some of the most significant characteristics can be found in Italian neorealism films would be shoots on location in post-war ruins, such as the worn-down streets or buildings during the World War II era. Italian neorealism films is also heavily emphasized on the use of grainy stock, as well as the use of professional and social actors. The professional actors it used would contribute to falsehood. Italian neorealism films also have events that could refer to national experience. It tends to tell the story from a socially conscious and humanistic point of view. Italian neorealism films usually possess melodramatic aspects and that its sound is recorded but added in post-production. In this video, we will be analyzing the Italian neorealism films by using the Bicycle Thieves directed by Vittorio De Sica in 1948. One of the most significant shoot on location examples can be found in Bicycle Thieves would be the main characters Antonio and Bruno when they were sitting outside of a stadium while a live football match is going on. The use of rainy stocks is also heavily emphasized in Bicycle Thieves. The entire film's resolution is obviously low. Its aim is to complement on the social realism of poverty. Thus, the use of rainy stocks enhances the sense of gritty. As mentioned, Italian neorealism films are heavily characterized by the use of both professional and social actors. One of the most significant examples would be the main character, Antonio Ricci, who was played by Lamberto Maggiorani. By the time of the filming, Maggiorani was just an ordinary factory worker. Also, as the live football match wasn't being staged, hence the crowds at the football match became a social actors. There are several examples that could be found in Bicycle Thieves that could contribute to the national experience of poverty. For example, little kids playing for money and people lining up in front of the job agency to apply for the job and people go to a pawn shop to pawn for money. Such characteristics help interpret the film from a socially conscious and humanistic point of view. Also, as Italian neorealism films possesses melodramatic aspects, the music used in the film sounds sad and that the grainy stock used in the entire film adds to the sense of sadness. <laughs>